Hey cool kids, that's the sound of my front door shutting. So, you know what this is? It's a gig review. It's half one in the morning. Well, I was going to say, where am I going? But if you read the title of this podcast, then I've kind of already kind of given that away a bit, really, haven't I? Right then, time to walk to catch a National Express bus that my lanky legs won't fit on properly. (laughs) And hopefully get some sleep. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Ah, shit, they've switched the lights off. That means I won't be able to see where the dog shit is on my street. Hmm. Well, I'm on the coach, but I've not had the best for start. Um, I bought a ticket for two days ago. And I bought this ticket a long time ago. I don't know how I got the dates wrong. Fortunately, the nice driver was able to sell me a ticket. And it wasn't much more than booking in advance. So thank goodness for that. Well, as a small plus, I just became mayor of this bus stop on Foursquare. But possibly because I'm the only person still using Foursquare. Well, every cloud and all that. Well, it might be the first time ever I just made it through bag scan without my bag being opened up and everything being looked at or being asked questions, which might be a first. And I realise it might be a last because I'm recording this as I am probably too close <laughs> to that said area. Anyway, I'm at Stansted Airport. Bit of sleep on the train. I won't keep giving you up to the minute updates because I am tired as shit. It's 4 a.m. I know it's poor form to record audio in a toilet, but Helsinki Airport lavatories play birdsong. Which I think is kind of lovely, so I thought I'd share it with you and risk the stern looks of the unapproving people, of which there were none. Anyway, birdsong and toilets. More of that, please, world. So tomorrow is Helsinki, two L's. Uh, Helsinki. And I'm here with Sam in Helsinki with one L. One L, yes. Right, so doors open for Helsinki, one o'clock. Who have we got on first? We got on uh, Tervit Kadet, uh, apologies for pronunciation, who are a legendary Finnish hardcore band, and uh, Bob Malstrom, who I have no idea who is. So... Legendary, what, Finnish hardcore? Finnish hardcore. What, yeah. are, they, are they still playing hardcore? Uh, I think it's like a crossover nowadays uh, between cr- um, uh, hardcore and uh, and metal. Um, Hettle. I, and Hettle. <laughs> Kettle. Um, who else? So, who, Max, who? Max Verstappen? No, no. Uh... Drives motor vehicles. No, so Max Calavera of uh, the legend who oh, is, really? uh, a fa- who who fronts self who who fronts Soulfly and used to front Sepultura, is a big fan of theirs, um, and he wears patches. And that's you might if you're a metal fan, you might recognise it from battle battle jackets uh, that he has been known to sport. I always thought that was a real hardcore thing. So I know you just said they're hardcore, but patches. I, I didn't bring my um, jacket no. with patches because it's too. I only want to pay for hand luggage, so <laughs> I've just got like a sports hoodie. <laughs> I'm going to look like either. I think I'm going to look like you're my carer tomorrow. I'm going to wear a pink t-shirt, so you can't lose me in the crowd. 
<laughs> That's very wise. <laughs> what else have we got to look forward to? I, I, I was hoping to see Baktushka, but I've just found out they played today and we didn't have tickets. We uh, wandered around Helsinki eating and drinking instead. Uh, well, I mean, they're still playing, but... Um, I, 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 oh, shit, I, they're on in how long? They're on... <laughs> right, we're recording this at quarter to ten. They're in, on in a few hours. <laughs> yes, they're on in a few hours. We're, pro- we're past our bedtime, right? And we still don't have tickets. Um, I, uh, they, uh, this is the problem of some festivals, is they don't regulate for old uh, parents. Um, there is I Am Morbid, who are members, previous members of uh, Morbid Angel, playing the classic Morbid Angel album Covenant, I think. I've got to say, that the lineup we're looking at here, I'm, I'm seeing some of the band names for the first time, because each time I looked at the Helsinki... Um, website, I only saw the logos and I, yeah. I, I don't know what the hell they say. No, so this no. is actually written out in... You know Emperor are playing tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. I'm, no. well, Emperor's, <laughs> Emperor's the whole reason I've got on a plane. Well, to see you as well, of course, Sam. Uh, there's Priest who are playing. Priest are... Half of Judas Priest? No, sadly not. Priest are members of um, they might be good for like a good. Uh, I genuinely thought you were difference. going to say they might be giants. Then, <laughs> no, they are member. One of them, at least one of them, was a member of uh, the Swedish uh, metal band or pop ba- pop metal band uh, Ghost. Oh, who, and they now play sort of um, uh, industrial sort of music. Um, the album's okay, but they might be good live. And Deluge, actually, uh, a band I, I, I think I've heard a little bit of, uh, who sound good. I think they're French, blackened metal of some sort. Uh, Watain are playing at midnight. We might be in oh, bed man. by then. Um, because, I mean, there's an aspect. We, we went to, years ago, do you remember? Years ago we went, we cycled, oh, we didn't, I don't know if it was the one we cycled down to, but Descendants were playing... Um, Brackrock. Brackrock. In Antwerp, yeah, we yeah. cycled from, um, well, from Britain. Uh, yeah. we, we did get ferry, we didn't just get yeah. soaking wet oh. on the first part of the journey or anything. But there's a, there's a certain part of, like, you have to get back to the hotel, you have to get back to home, you have to sort of be okay to do stuff the next day. And frankly, when shit is on at midnight, I just lose a bit of interest. Um, Frankly, I quite like London gigs these days where it's all wrapped up by 10 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I think that that's all right. That's for, from yeah. London to Ipswich, it's just time to get the nutter train where something strange always happens. But we are in Helsinki and we're going to Helsinki with two L's tomorrow. Scar Symmetry might be good, they're Swedish, I believe. Uh, there's also Pentagram playing first. I have no idea. Oh, I thought I said Pentangle, I thought that would be a, a quite a nice little there. Uh, folky interlude and I remember that Birch Jansch is dead and I got sad. <laughs> Blood Red Hourglass who I mean wow. I, they're Finnish but then I they're not my thing. Uh Fit for an Autopsy who I think have, <laughs> Wow, what a name. They're playing at the same time as Emperor so I doubt uh, uh that, Emperor Emperor's the clear choice I'm afraid there. Emperor is yeah Emperor's going to be the thing to go to. I mean, I, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm quite happy Priest is on. I think that's going to be a nice... Oh, that's the one I'm looking for. Vomitory, who are Swedish, like, their classic Swedish 90s death metal band. Ooh. Um, and they've got some chunky riffs, and uh, it, they're quite... It's like, they should be fun. They should be a lot of fun. We like fun death metal. I like fun death metal uh, as well, yes. Cool, right, well, we'll catch up with you cool kids tomorrow when we will either sound much more sprightly than we do now or much less sprightly. Who? Huh? Huh? I said cool kids, the listeners. Oh. That's why I called them, have you not noticed? The listener. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got to press stop. Is that your wife? Well, she's not going to listen to this. Why would she listen to this? She has to listen to me all the time, poor woman. <laughs> she knows what I sound like. Hey, wife, would you like to listen to me on a podcast? Why would I want to, like, double up on the amount of your voice I hear? <laughs> it's, it's on the interest, your, your, your geeky interests. Geeky interests. This, a lot of the bands we're seeing tomorrow is what's known colloquially in my house as the forbidden music. <laughs> right, see you tomorrow, cool kids. Hey, hey. This one's, like, it's pretty much, it's really good because it actually spreads rather than some other stuff. It's quite like the spray. off milk. <laughs> yeah, quite like the spray ones. 
got the one that you spray on blue and it changes colour when, you know, when you've rubbed it in enough. All right, we're in Sam's apartment uh, applying sunblock, getting ready to walk for about an hour to the festival. What's the name of the actual place we're going? Yahari. Yahari. Yahari, here we come. Which means ice rink. Oh. <laughs> ice hall. Might seem strange putting sunblock on in Finland, but it gets very, very hot here. And we're standing in the sun for hours. And we're going to be standing in the sun for hours. And often. we're both dads. We have to take responsibility for ourselves and now. I am so white. There's like some people who are like white. I am, you know, you know when you're driving at night and car head beams reflect back on rabbit's headlights? <laughs> car headlights, when they take me, my whole body reflects back on that white. So I burn. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Good God. I forget how to... Well, it's because you've got, like, dual doors. There you go. We have, we have opened, with some effort, a door. And that means we are... <laughs> and on <laughs> going to a gig. <laughs> we, have arri- we have arrived at the festival. And I can tell it's a metal festival because all the uh, barriers around the festival are just black. Okay, we're in. It's, a, it's an ice rink normally. And we're just wandering around the barrels of it to go to the outside bit. We've had our first meal, which was a barbecue brisket burger. Sam, what do you think of the barbecue brisket burger? The brisket was very good, but the, uh, the bun was a bit uh, stale. Really? Mine was all right. Oh, well, sucks to be you. It was good, although kind of all the food squished out the edge, so I ended up just eating a bun. <laughs> I had all the food. And it's very messy. I had to go and wash our hands because we're polite and hygienic. Right, we're into the outside arena. Let's go find some music. <laughs> women go through the crowd uh, offering people free free shots of Jack Daniels and everybody's saying no <laughs> that was uh, Turvy Cadet um, they look like they were having fun I'm always surprised to see a Rickenbacker 4001 in a metal band because they are the least metal sounding thing ever Sam uh, it was like DB hardcore pretty much with a bit of uh, motorhead DB for hardcore with a bit of motorhead there you go um, it's quite Fun. It's fun, yeah. They were having fun, crowd was having fun. Um, it's quite cool. They've got two stages next to each other, so I'm guessing that uh, two stages, you know, one plays and the other. And then they've got vertical screens, which is nice. Don't just ex- expect to see screens at a festival of this size. Uh, the only thing is they keep advertising a Baktushka gig that's happening nearby soon, which is a bit upsetting for me because I thought Baktushka were playing here today, but they played yesterday. Just a curious thing, there's metal buckets everywhere that somebody with a first aid tabards going around putting water in and I think they're for cigarette butts but we're on tarmac anyway I don't, I don't know if you can hear this very well but scar symmetry have just started and we've decided we're not going to get any closer because they are a bit Eurovision metal oh the, god it's not even them that's just their intro track uh, so look, let's have a few seconds and see what we think Oh, okay. Sounding, sounding better now. We might go and have a look. Sam, you have an interesting uh, observation about the t-shirts here. I've seen four people in t-shirts, five people in t-shirts that are black. Including you. Sorry? Including you. Including me. For more on this later.
was Scar Cemetery. did grow on me a bit. Uh, plus points for the band. Uh, good beard action going on. Got one, one singer doing the gruff stuff, one singer doing, frankly, quite amazing singing. Some good riffs, but now for the minus points. Both guitarists have a headless guitar, and I'm afraid just no. And worse than that, what's the worst thing, Sam? There's not even a headless bass. <laughs> There's not even a bassist, let alone a headless bass. But we can hear the bassist. Um, if you listen to the mix, there is like a bass going on. There, there might be someone playing a keyboard. I can't see them. But... Whoever it is, they're ashamed of him and he is not near. Oh, I've just seen a gay rear patch. That's cool. But the weirdest thing about that set is that somebody did a bungee jump halfway through it, which I've not seen at a festival before. Have you? I'm not sure. You're not sure? I wouldn't have remembered. Not this close to the stage. They're no, basically yeah. beside the stage. They are, yeah. I mean, I always assumed you do these things over water. They're just right over concrete. <laughs> the VIP area here is called uh, Necropolis. And they've got the usual VIP things. There's a bar without queues, nicer seats, settees, uh, somewhere you can get your corpse paint done, and a bouncy castle. Tidy! Just walked into the main, well, the indoor arena, which is usually an ice rink, ice hockey place. Unfortunately, they've taken the ice out. Um, but there's a, <laughs> there's a wrestling ring in here because why wouldn't there be? Oh, we'll, <laughs> yeah. So there we go. There's a problem when you've got four roadies standing around an amp and looking concerned. <laughs> it, it's, it's not good. Pentagram appear to be having trouble. There's a lot of tapping it. Oh, they, they've tried hitting it now. <laughs> there's something lovely about metal bands you see them getting ready they, you always see them do something very unmetal. so the guitarist is trying to fix his amp he just hitched up his jeans <laughs> we all do it we all do it Normal. lad from Pentagram just said it's their 53rd anniversary today. 53 years. Loving it so far. You can see where Caius and Fu Manchu got it from. Um, what did you say? It's like, um, it's 53rd. 53rd. Shit, hell, that's late 60s they started. I'm 47 and I was born in 76. Hey, come back from Beat Motel next episode and hear me do maths again. <laughs> We know what kind of world it is out there. Uh, it's about 19, 20 degrees centigrade today, mild wind. <laughs> It's a bit of a surprise from Pentagram. Let's see what happens. Nice hearing those people shout, Woo Tang! Woo Tang! Come on, please be protect your neck. Alright, this is about a guy who sits by himself at night and uh, bathes the moon. So, Method Man? I'm not protect your neck, I don't think protect It's not protect your neck, no. Or Method Man. I reckon it's going to be shame on the... I can't say the word. <laughs> shame on the... Shame on the N-word. Who tries to play game on the N-word. There's a sign of the wolf. You're going for a wee. Okay, I won't follow you in this time. 
as I was saying, thoroughly enjoyed Pentagram. Wish I could stay for more. <laughs> the, the singing is slightly dated, but because the lyrics aren't about anything that sketchy, uh, hearing an early 70s band now, it still kind of makes sense. It's, they don't embarrass themselves at all. But the playing and the riffs and the little tricks, the little switches of riff, and uh, just absolutely great. I can't believe how old that band is and still sound so brilliant and so relevant. Definitely another one to, to look up when I get home because I was shit at listening to the bands before I come. I quite like the surprise of coming to the festival, not knowing what I'm going to hear. But, yep, Prentagam, very cool. When Sam's finished tinkling the ivories, um, having a wee, we're going to go see Vomitory. I noticed the uh, Pentagram drummer had a beard. You don't see many beards on drummers, do you? He, he did look like a member of ZZ Top. Quite good. <laughs> but good? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but it was quite good. I liked his beard. It was an admir- admirable beard. Um, something went wrong with his snare sound at some point, I think. There was something weird about the kick as well, wasn't there? Yeah, the kick was like a modern kick sound where it needed to be more boomy. It didn't really fit with that like really, classic metal... Really gated kind of click. Yeah. A smack when it should have been a boom. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. This is another new one. This is Rick Strangle Sodomized Dead. I know you're getting with the pile like that. pit there's a guy very viking looking long blonde hair massive beard in a pink unicorn onesie and it just looks great okay food review number two had a sauerkraut hot dog and it with curry stuff very nice very good sam what do you think it's good good what do you think of vomitary uh we only saw three songs but they were doing what they <coughs> they did what they they sort of like uh Sorry, I can't think. I thought they, they, yeah, they did what I expected them to. I wasn't so sure about the sound because they had that loud tonk, tonk snare that you get at festivals. But once I kind of warmed to that... The, you couldn't hear the guitar over it. No, but, yeah, they, the, fortunately, well, the drums were loud, but the drums were very, very cool. Some brilliant blast beats. That, that kind of uh, connected with me in a big way. Yeah, and when you could hear the riffs, they were sort of halfway between Cannibal Corpse and Slayer. It was great. Nice. We're walking through the uh, festival crowd. Everyone's going the other way. We're like stupid salmon going the wrong way. And when everyone's going the other way, I can't help but think, what are we missing out on? What do they know that we don't? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I've already sort of, there are some assumptions I've had about, about black metal for a long time that I think I'm already thinking this movie's going to be a really interesting kind of dive into a bit more of that because there's the gruesome stuff there's someone being stabbed on the screen at the moment and uh, personally I'm not I don't like that side of metal I don't but seeing people talk about it so I've gone off on one I go you talk now <laughs> yeah okay sure no because we all know what's happened in Norway right yeah. all those uh, murders that happened there but I can tell you we have dug up some really brutal stories happening within the metal scene but it's not from Norway, it's from other countries in the world. And we have reconstructed those, uh, there are three true crime stories in this film. Oh, that's what, it, oh, that's what we're seeing. Yeah, yeah. All right. oh. exactly. So uh, we have really, sometimes I do voiceover, and sometimes we actually have actors reconstructing some of the murders that took place. And I can tell you, they will look like Norway was a play in the park, you know, like uh, these this we have found are really, really gruesome horror murders that we have found so that we do and also of course we talk to the artists you know and uh, meet them where they are we are traveling around the world we have been to los angeles it's a huge project isn't it i know and we are just two people doing it with our own money we don't have any investors or anything this is us on that point how can people support you um yeah they can go to seesum.com all right, we'll, we'll, put the, we'll put the URL in the show notes, of course. Yeah, so you can just go there, uh, register, pay $5, watch the movie, and it's a one and a half hour long movie. That's about as independent as filmmaking can get. <laughs> well, thank you very much. It's been really interesting to talk to you. Have a good day. Thank you, and nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Have a cool. nice, great festival. Thank you. Uh, here in the last few minutes of Bloody Hour Pass. I can't figure out why their logo is BRHC. Because bloody is anyway, it looks like I'm gonna do something else, so I'll just let it go recording. Like e- emo black metal. Let's like, go and In a good way. summary of Bloody the Hourglass? Uh, I enjoyed it more than I thought I did. I would. Well, I thought I did. Then I would. But I can't remember any riffs. And nothing stood out. There were nice grooves, but that suggested the drummer was good. Rather than the guys who write the riffs. But I don't want to be too negative. That was enjoyable. Yeah, very enjoyable. Three guitarists. First time I've seen that. Also just saw a uh, Bad Brains t-shirt. Yeah, there's yeah. a guy running around with a black flag one as well. Ah, it's always a nice, nice to see a little bit of a, a little bit of punk at a metal festival. It, 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 it's always a bit relieving when there is uh, emphasis, particularly on this one, which has got like a black metal headline. To see people into into hardcore is a bit relieving. <laughs> <laughs> Tons of gay gay rear t-shirts, which I like. Who are we seeing next? Uh, this is burst. Burst. If there's any more mellow. Always bring the merch to the merch table, right? Except this band, because our merch is stuck in a warehouse somewhere in Belgium. Great. So <laughs> if you want to buy, want to buy a shirt, go we'll buy the LP. We brought like 15 of them in our <laughs> baggage, so that's what we got. We're pros. Yeah, did I mention we're pros? 
So, yeah, there we go. But. Yeah, very much enjoying burst <laughs> for lots of reasons. Okay, one, one question to the, to the sound guy. Who wrote the video? Can I talk to you All right, uh, that was Swedish before the drummer just uh, uh, smashed his uh, snare drum. So, fine. so it's good. This is the last song. So we, with a broken snare, we're gonna round this one. We're so happy that you guys showed up because it was like 15 years ago we played here. We're so glad we got the opportunity to do this once again. Really, really, this is awesome. Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay, together, you and us, okay, we're gonna maintain for the rest of the song, all right? Are you ready? Yeah. This one is called We Watched the Silver Rain. Oh, I'm gonna get close to look. Not bad to look up when I get first. Was there, they, they had at least three of the best riffs so, so far today just, in one song. The, the, the way they're mucking around with dynamics was just so yeah, cool. They never gave you what you expected, but they never disappointed you. <gasps> I don't think the review is going to get any better than that. That's <laughs> lovely. Anyway, there's a bunch of people now getting in the wrestling ring, and uh, I don't know if they're asking for volunteers. Sam, are you going to volunteer? No. <laughs> no. Oh, here we go. This is uh, the wrestling. This might be the strangest thing I've ever seen. And I saw someone bungee jump earlier. Well, they're now scrapping around the ring. Oh no, it's too good. Oh, that doesn't look good for your dental work. Um, I don't really know what's going on. I'm going to stop. The referee appears to be having some trouble getting the two uh, wrestlers back in the ring. So, if it's a, if it's that kind of thing, you know, when I was brought up, my parents said if kids are playing up, not doing as they're told, then you shouldn't look at them because it only encourages them to do it more. Right, <laughs> they're back in the ring now. I also want to make an exit because this looks like the kind of thing that has crowd participation. And I am a six foot tall man with bright white hair in a sea of metalers with long black hair. Or blonde hair, actually. It's got a lot of blonde, so I know I'm the sort of person that gets picked out on things like this because I stand out like a fucking sore thumb. Right, let's go find something else. This is Morbid Angel. No, so I am Morbid. I am Morbid. Playing Morbid, Morbid Angel. Angel, right. It's the drummer and the bassist who are on the first few albums of Morbid Angel. Well, some of you are. What about the people in the back? Are you having a good time? And two very, very competent guitarists. <laughs> very competent. Are you having a good time? I need a wing. I've heard you that time. Oh, I had a lovely time. He really looks like someone I know lives in Old Stoke called Olsie. <laughs> what a basis. Yeah, it really does. 
he asked me to teach him to play bass because he likes Pantera. You should teach him to play bass if he likes Morbid Angel. Start, <laughs> yeah, to start a Morbid Angel cover band. Well, he could be a, be a, a stand-in. Yeah. He's got a guitar. This is a bit different. I think they're wearing gimp arms. Keyboard solo. Excellent. Three meanings to me. One, when I first wrote it. The second one, two years after. But now it has a third meaning to me, and I hope everyone of you out there can find their own meaning to me. That song is called History. This is the most full we've seen this room. not really our thing I don't think so on to another food review I've just had Chiang Mai pork which is pork ginger tamarind shallots garlic sesame oil fresh coriander can you tell I'm sat near the uh, place I bought it from I can still read the menu it's really really good generous portions not too greasy very very good festival food a mere 16 euros very happy I think Sam's struggling a bit are you struggling are you gonna finish it He's not going to finish it. We well, have. You only got like a fork ball there. No, he's done. This is Deluge playing indoors. It's quite nice to be out of the sun. They seem to really like their water noises, which isn't good if you're a middle-aged man. You've been drinking all day and are trying not to go to the toilet. One hopes it's part of their sense of humour rather than some deep meaningful part. <laughs> Maybe they're just really serious about renal health and don't want us to not go to the loo for ages. I don't say much. <laughs> Talk about Deloge in a bit in a moment. I uh, try and describe the scene before us. There's a wrestling ring and a chap in his pajamas uh, shouting a bit, and there's a chap in a torn t shirt. They're chucking each other around. There's barbed wire. Bloody hell! <laughs> okay, one guy, one lad just chucked the other lad on a dustbin, which is now folded up. Inexplicably, there's a guy in a Union Jack t shirt who might actually be British. I don't think it's, it's, uh, it's fake. a bit hammy. Well, so. <laughs> right. Oh, right, there's a body bag, so the big lad's going to put the other lad in a body bag. It looks like a same sort of bag that I used to get from Wilkins. He has to find which way it opens first. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, he's got to find... Yeah, it's, typically, it's always the way with bags like that. You can't find where they open. <laughs> he's asked the referee to find where it opens. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm still recording the sound. This is just weird. It's strangely fun. 
wrestling was uh, kind of weird. It <laughs> made us both feel a bit uncomfortable. Uh, I'm not sure who won. I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on. Anyway, Deluge, um, I'm going to have to confess that I really enjoyed it, but I fell asleep because I found somewhere to sit down <laughs> and lean back on something and I dozed off. What did you think of that one? I thought they were great in moments, but they repeated the trick ad nauseum, as in loud, quiet, loud, quiet. And they had water running throughout it, so I really needed a wee. <laughs> Have you had a wee now? I've had a wee now. Okay. Now I need a wee because you talked about having a wee. Uh, oh, I've got to go for a wee down there. There's a lot of kilts on sale here. I didn't realise this is where you, people go to get kilts. This is Andrew from the past. The next band you'll hear is Emperor. It's become a tradition for us to have some help from you guys to introduce this next song. And I think some of you may know which song we're talking about. Am I right, Dean? Hell's we bells. Really loud oh, hell's bells. I was going to say, we will rock you. Let's see what CD has to offer. She's got big balls. Are you ready? Your mother's got a penis. Okay, here we go. <laughs> In the world! Fuck my love! done we're out the door and now we're going home on municipal scooters hopefully this won't be the last recording i ever make <laughs>